Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I have an absolute barn burner of a video. I had so many requests by people. How do you use the Milko Mito roll up? How do you mint Algorand assets into Milk Algo and then use Milk Algo on the Ethereum network? And in today's video, I will give you guys an entire demo. If you guys are curious and have no idea what I'm talking about, Milko Mita is a layer two rollup that is built on top of the layer one Algorand blockchain. What is the point of this rollup and where does it come from? Around six months ago at ETH Denver, Stacey Warden, who's the CEO of the Algorand Foundation, comes out and says, hey, there's gonna be a massive super grant for a total of $20 million that's gonna be given to companies and developers that are allowing us to do interoperability between the Algorand blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain. Now, Milko Mito was one of the recipients of the super grant. I did do an AMA with Seba. I can't link that AMA because my channel got hacked. I'll talk to you guys about that in just a moment. And in that AMA, he says, hey, we did receive part of the grant money, but not the entire grant money. And it's also done at stages. So the more we develop, the more we get grant money, which is great. So there's a few different ways to do interoperability. Some people says, is this the state proofs? This is not the state proofs interoperability. This is via the rollup. They have a rollup on Algorand blockchain. They also have a side bridge on the Cardano blockchain and they link you to Ethereum. Usually rollups are done on the Ethereum side to make Ethereum work faster because Ethereum was a trash blockchain or not trash, old school blockchain. Now they're proof of stake, which makes them better, but they're still severely lacking compared to a blockchain like Algorand, for example. Anyhow, in this case, Seba and Milkamita Tim came out with a really, really genius idea. And they said, hey, instead of us using the rollups to make Ethereum faster, why don't we use the rollups to allow for interoperability between Algorand and Ethereum? The question is, Adam, why do we need interoperability and how does it work? Algorand uses something called AVM. AVM stands for the Algorand Virtual Machine. Algorand's language, the coding language or language of the Algorand blockchain is Teal, Pytheal, and Reach. While Ethereum uses a language called Solidity. Solidity is probably used in 90% of all development of cryptocurrency. Solidity uses for Ethereum, for Polygon, for BNB, and a lot of other blockchains. So because most people know Solidity, most people don't want to learn a new language and they say, hey, forget it. We just want to work in Solidity. This gives an interoperability that if you are working on Solidity, you can now work on the Algorand blockchain and you don't have to rewrite everything in a completely different language. Milkometer is brand new and it has so much appeal, so much growth and so much potential. At least for me, I definitely see the huge potential. So in this video, I'm going to show you a full massive demo of how to do that. In this video, literally, I'm going to show you how to download a MetaMask wallet, how to add the network of Milka Mita, how to then download a Algorand wallet, how to connect your Algorand wallet to the Milka Mita rollup to the Ethereum side, and how to actually mint an Algorand asset, and there's several that you can mint, into Milk Algo, and then you could do whatever you want with the Milk Algo on the Ethereum side or in the network of Milkamita, which they're still growing out. Think about Milkamita as a literally a little bit of a side ecosystem. So think about Milkamita like an island, an independent island between the country of Algorand and the country of Ethereum. And Algorand can communicate with Milkamita Island and Ethereum can communicate with Milkamita Island, but Algorand and Ethereum, they don't have a treaty and they don't have a truth, so they don't communicate with each other. This is exactly how that works. So I'm gonna show you this real fast. Before I go any further, yes, I am a YouTuber. I have a larger channel. My larger channel is called Dot Adam Bergman Show. That larger channel got hacked. A lot of people are asking me, how did it get hacked? Very, very simple. A sponsor contacted me. They said, hey, we want to hire you to do some work. I downloaded a malicious malware. The malicious malware then got into my Gmail. It completely overrun my two-factor identification. By the time you get a notification, they already changed the authentication and how you can log back in. And they changed the way I can log back in, which means I cannot log into my own account. A lot of people says, Adam, it's your fault because you didn't have authentication. I did have authentication. They bypass everything. I don't know how, I'm not a freaking hacker. 
but they bypass everything. And then when you go in to re-verify you, they already changed your phone number. They already changed how to verify. So now in order for me to verify, I need a USB drive. I never got a USB drive because that's not how, I never even knew there was a verification for a USB drive. In any case, it is what it is. I am working with YouTube. I am working with YouTube teams, shout out to them. However, I don't know if I will get my channel back. I don't know when I will get my channel back and I don't know how I will get my channel back. I don't know any ramifications. All I know is my old channel, The Adam Bergman Show, that had nearly 15,000 subscribers is now no longer my channel. If you look at the URL on top, it's gonna say Adam Bergman Show, but the channel is now called Twitter Live and it's Jack Dorsey on replay. And they're saying we're running a fundraiser for Ukraine. Don't donate because that is the hack. They don't care about me. They care about getting your money for donations. With that said, I'm not going to sulk. I'm not going to cry. And I'm not going to, you know, beat myself up about it because in life, nobody gives a flying fizzle about you. At the end of the day, you need to move on and move forward. Your loved ones, your closest people, they will actually give an F. Other than that, nobody wants to hear you whine and complain because life got us all down. And I say it all the time. You think it's easy for me to throw away a 15,000 people channel to start this channel that at this point I have 39 people on this channel? It is not easy. It is hard. But what are you going to do? Get yourself back up if you fall off the horse and get the riding. With that said, let me get right into this video. As you can see, I do have a sponsor over here, Algorand Casino. And I had a deal with them to do sponsorship on my channel. I still want to give them some value, whether we're going to be working or not. And shout out to Algorand Casino, who's been checking up on me. Shout out, shout out, shout out. This is the premier entertainment and gaming place for the Algorand blockchain. I will have how-to videos a little bit later on that. With that said, let's get right into this video. Thank you. Guys, the very first thing that you're going to need to do is have a MetaMask wallet. This is the MetaMask website. It's metamask.io. Please be very, very careful with what you're downloading. You're going to click download for Chrome. When you click download for Chrome, you're going to say add to Chrome. You're going to add an extension. When you add an extension, this is what you're going to see. Get started. Click get started. You're going to say agree. You're going to have two options. On the left hand side is I already have a secret recovery phrase. No, let's get started. No, let's get started if you're getting your first Ethereum wallet, if you're getting your first MetaMask wallet, this is what you're going to do. MetaMask has a 12 word seed phrase, while Algorand uses 25, Cardano uses like 24, I believe Hedera Hashpack uses 24. Anyways, so it's going to be a little different. If you already have MetaMask, all you got to do is re-put it in right here. Once you do that, this is what you're going to see. This is your actual Ethereum wallet. Now that you have an Ethereum wallet, on the top right hand side, click right here, and you're going to have to add a network. Now, when you're adding a network, you're going to add the Milkometa network right now. And remember, Milkometa is its own island. For MetaMask, you can use different blockchains on MetaMask. Again, they're using the same guts, the Solidity guts, and they have just a different exterior. You can use uh, Polygon, you can use BNB, and you could do, you use like 10 different blockchains on the MetaMask wallet. Click Add Network. And as you can see, these are the networks that you can have, you know, normally on the Ethereum network. We're not gonna use any of these, we're just gonna add it manually. When you add it manually, all this information I'm gonna give you right now, it's really, really simple. You're gonna go on the Milkometer website. This is it right here. I'm gonna leave you a link down below. You're gonna copy, click the link right here. You're gonna add the Milkometer Algorand mainnet. Add it right here. You're gonna go back. You're gonna take this URL right here. You're gonna copy it. You're gonna go back right here. You're going to go right here. You're going to do chain ID 2002. You're going to put it right here. For symbol, milk algo. So you're literally telling them what you're doing over here. So you're adding the entire milk amida chain. Over here, you're going to put in this URL right here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Very, very, very simple. And then you're going to click save. When you click save on the top right hand side, as you can see, now you have the Milk Amita mainnet. You have Ethereum and you have Milk Amita. Now the question is, how do you mint Algorand assets to Milk Algo? Very, very simple. This is the Milk Amita website. Experience interoperability and layer two scalability. Now over here, you're going to click use Milk Amita. You're going to click Milk Amita A1 bridge. And this is how you're going to be bridging. You can either bridge 
from Algorand to Milkameter or from Milkameter to Algorand. Right now we're doing Algorand to Milkameter, but if you want to unswap, if you, right now we're pegging, right? So we're pegging our Algorand for Milk Algo, but then you could depeg Milk Algo back to your Algorand asset. So I'm gonna click right here, Algorand to Milk Algo, and then I'm gonna have to connect the wallet. Click right here. Which wallet do you wanna connect? My Pero wallet. If you don't know how to do this, I was gonna say I have a tutorial on this, but I unfortunately don't. It's very, very simple. You're gonna go to your app store. That's it. You're gonna literally type in Pero wallet. You're gonna download your Pero wallet. When you download your Pero wallet, the process is identical to the MetaMask wallet. You're literally gonna put in your seed phrases or you're gonna get new seed phrases. And then you just connect to this. On your Para wallet, there's gonna be a little button right here. This is a scan button. Click on your scan button. When you click on it, all you're gonna do is scan your screen. When you scan your screen, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna connect? You're gonna say yes. Now, it's funny, I was hacked. Never, never do anything unless you're the one who's starting the connection, okay? If somebody's gonna send you, hey, can you put in your password? Or hey, can you wanna connect? Always say no. Only connect to a site that you personally are connecting to. Click connect. When you click connect, you're now gonna see that you are connected. How do you know you're connected? Right here on the addresses, you're gonna see your Algorand address. On the right-hand side, you're gonna click connect your wallet. Once you click connect wallet, they're gonna ask you on the right-hand side, do you wanna connect? You're gonna click yes, yes, yes. Once you're connected, now you can see you have your Algorand wallet and you have your Ethereum wallet. On the left-hand side over here, you're gonna have two options. You can do Algorand to Milkameter or you can do Milkameter to Algorand. Right now, we're gonna do Algorand to Milkameter. Once you click on the Algorand to Milkameter, they're gonna ask you what type of assets do you wanna do? You can do Algorand, you can do Gialgo, you can do Bright, ADAO, so on and so forth. I'm gonna use very, very easy Algo. I'm gonna do 10. So I'm gonna swap right now 10 Algorand for the equivalent of Milkameter. Click on Next, press Sign and Send. When you press Sign and Send on your Para Wallet, you're gonna have to click Confirm, press Accept. And as you can see, now it starts loading. The first portion, the Algorand portion, is gonna load in around five seconds, while the Milk and Meter portion is gonna load around 20 to 30 seconds. I'm not sure if this is because it's connecting to the Ethereum side, which I think it is, or that's just generally how long it takes. But the Algorand, the first part, is gonna take a lot faster than the second part. And when you're on swapping from Milk Algo back to Algo, it's also gonna take you a while to do that. All right, and then once it's done loading, this is what you're gonna see. Your wrapping is complete, your wrapping transaction went through. Now, if you wanna check, all you do is click this right here. This is like their Explorer, which we'll go over in just a moment. However, so now the question is, Adam, what can I do with my Milk Algo? And that's a great question. If you go to the milk meter website, right here, it's, there's a little section that says dApps coming soon. There's no dApps, remember. milk meter is its own island. Ethereum is its own country and Algorand is its own country. As Milk Amita Island is gonna be developed a little bit longer, it's gonna have its own commerce, its own schools, its own post office, its own stores, so on and so forth. As that happens, those are gonna be dApps that are built in the Milk Amita ecosystem, in this little independent island. In this little independent island, you're gonna be able to do stuff in the island. You don't have to go to Algorand and you don't have to go to Ethereum. Kind of like an autonomous situation. But Milkometer does not compete with Algorand, it complements Algorand because you have to off-ramp and on-ramp to Algorand eventually. With that said, there is some development currently that you can use, however, it is limited. If you do wanna use it, there's two sites. This is called Blue Shift. Blue Shift has the Milkometer Algorand as well as the Milkometer Cardano. This is what Charles Hoskinson said, hey, now Algorand is on Cardano. It's through this DEX called Blue Shift. So you can use Blue Shift. You could also use a site called Brightside. Now, if you connect to Brightside, they're gonna give you options. You can do Milk Algo to USDC, USDT to Milk Algo, Milk Algo to ADAO. And all this is right now is just conversions. You're adding liquidity pools. You have a swap, you have a pool, you have a farm, you have a zip, you have a bridge. So eventually there's gonna be more and more interoperability that you can do more and more things. Right now you're just adding liquidity pairs and you're getting returns on your Milk Algo. Now, the question is this, how do you unswap from Milk Algo to Algo? It's very, very simple. 
All you do is change your network from algo to milk algo, and you do milk algo to algo. They're gonna say, how much do you wanna swap? And as you can see now on the bottom left, it's the Ethereum side for the milk algo, and on the right-hand side is the Algorand. All you're gonna do is press max. And again, I want you just to pay attention how long it takes. So in the beginning, the Algorand portion took a couple of seconds and the Ethereum portion took a long time. Right now, you're gonna see the first portion is Ethereum, the second portion is gonna be Algorand. It's gonna take probably 20 to 30 seconds compared to Algorand, that's around four seconds. Click on next, sign and send. Now I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit because I don't wanna waste time just sitting here and doing nothing, but this process takes around 30 seconds. Guys, and just like that, your unwrapping is completed. Now I wanna show you one more thing as a bonus in this video. If you go to home and then you do bridge explorer, this is the bridge explorer. This is like algo explorer, BSC scan, so on, an ether scan, this is theirs. They have a total of $209,000 worth of locked up algo for some way, shape or form. The last 24 hours, they have had 50 bridges and they have a total of 926 transactions. This is mine right here. This is my transactions right here, unwrapped my milk algo. So as you can see, the ecosystem is still growing. It's still super early, but I have high hopes for what's gonna be happening on Milko Mita. I have high hopes that developers are gonna come and see even this video and you see the Ethereum chain takes 30 seconds while the Algorand chain takes four seconds. It's a huge difference if you're doing a ton of transactions. For example, let's say you're doing gaming. It's a really, really big difference, right? Like you don't wanna wait 30 seconds for each move. You want it to be instantaneous. So I'm hoping that the Solidity developers are gonna see how good Algorand is, and that's the hope of a lot of Algorand diehards, and they're gonna come over to Algorand to use Algorand. Guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer it. And can I ask you guys a favor? I am gonna ask you, can you please retweet this to anybody that wants to see this? Can you please send this to any of your friends? My goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time as quickly as possible to try to get remonetized. At the end of the day, the crypto channel was my main channel, and that was one of my main sources of income coming in right now as I started doing YouTube full time. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great day and go enjoy your family if you have one. Bye-bye.